the ideas program has 100% shaped the way um, my career is moving forward. It is the sole reason that I have been able to, you know, find a PhD program and, and begin that in the fall. If you are struggling with finding out what you want to do in biological anthropology or you're already in a program and see that there are not uh, diverse initiatives moving forward to just be more inclusive, you know, in, into the community in general, I highly recommend you join the IDEAS program as a scholar or as a faculty member um, because this network of people is, is by far the best network of people that I could have come in contact with at AAPA. So right now uh, I work at the University of Florida. I graduated from there um, with my undergrad degree about two years ago or so. Um, so I work at a science outreach center and the main point of the center is to uh, connect as much as we can with teachers and students throughout the state of Florida and kind of bring university level research into the classroom. I knew that I wanted to go to graduate school in anthropology, in biological anthropology specifically, but I didn't really know how to go about navigating the landscape and finding a mentor. I was actually part of the, and I'm a member of the BioAnth News Facebook page, and somebody made a post um, over a year and a half ago, roughly now, about this program called the Ideas Program, and that they were looking for diverse individuals that were interested in biological anthropology to apply to it. So I decided to go ahead and apply, and I got accepted. And that's actually how I went to Atlanta last year for AAPA 2016. Um, that program allowed me to be able to come to the meeting, network with a variety of individuals, and essentially meet the mentor who I'll be joining the lab uh, in the fall with. So it was all because I attended that you know, AAPA ideas last year and then got the opportunity to stay for the duration of the conference that I was able to network enough with individuals and, and apply to programs this last December. Last year was my first year at AAPA. Um, going to Atlanta was a lot of fun and it was pretty close to home as well. I live in Gainesville, Florida, so it was a nice short drive. Uh, so last year was my first year and even, it, I've only been coming for two years and this year I have seen so many of the same people and it already feels like a family, like a community, which I find so amazing because I've only been coming, this is my second time here and I'm already seeing so many people that I've already been seeing since the last year that I met one time. Um, and everyone is so friendly and they remember you and it's such a, an inclusive community in terms of just being friendly towards new faces and new science. So I, I find that really exciting even though I've only been here for two years.